Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joanna the Nurse. This is my first ever voiceover. Uh oh, it's going really fast. So first I'm going to be using primer. This is going to be Tarte Quench and I'm going to be putting that over my face, putting my hair back, wiping it on my face and just slathering it over my face just like that. Okay. And then next I am going to be getting smiling at the camera and using LA Girl eyeshadow palette. And I love this palette. It is new. I'm going to be using the Makeup Shack brush using that light color and I will be putting it on my eye eyelids. So just kind of slather it on just like that and just like that. And now you're going to use a slightly lighter color just like that and just kind of windshield wiper it across your eyes. Go for a different color and I changed my brush too to make it a slightly smaller brush so I can get a little bit more precision. Let's see, let's see. Keep on going, keep on going. Maybe it would have been smarter if I edited this first. Okay, and next I'm going to be using this hot pinkish color and I'm going to be putting that over my eyelids again. I probably should have picked a slightly smaller brush, so I am sorry about that. But my recommendation is the darker the shadows, the smaller the brush. Okay, and I'm going to be picking up a new brush and I'm going to be using this burnt orange color. And I'm just going to be putting that over my lids with a slightly angled brush. And just keep on going like that. Look at myself in the mirror. And I am done. Smile at the camera. Then, oh, I'm going to be getting that big brush again. And I'm going to be blending, blending, blending. Okay, I keep on blending. Blending is the key to success when it comes to eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be using Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm going to be using a beauty blender. I haven't used an actual beauty blender in a super long time, but I have absolutely no regrets buying it. There really is nothing quite like a beauty blender. I have tried pretty much all the dupes, and I have to say that I think the beauty blender is by far the best, so... If you are debating on splurging, I do heavily recommend it. It just makes my makeup go on so much better. Oh, I just did another double of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm color five and a half. And I'm just going to be putting that over my face, under my eyes, and just through all those nooks and crannies of my face. Smile at the camera again. I'm going to be using now Tarte Shape Shape and Shape Tape. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say, and I'll just be putting that on my eyes. I think my color I'm using is light medium. I threw some on my cheek chin too, just for good measure, but usually I don't do that. So I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender again, and I'm just going to be using that on my face some more. Ooh, my voice is getting tired. Blend, blend, blend. Blend a little bit better. And just keep on blending. Okay, and continue to blend some more. Okay. Okay, keep on blending, 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 blending. And blending. Okay. Next, I am gonna be using Benefil benefit precisely my brow pencil this is in color five and i am just going to be putting that over my brows in hair like strokes as they say it is a very nice brow pencil i do recommend it if you are looking for a pretty pretty easy brow pencil okay next i'm going to be doing on my other eyebrow it's always harder to do my second eyebrow i feel like a lot of people have that same struggle as i do so i'm just going to be putting that on my brows next soon 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 i will be getting the spoolie and i will be blending it slightly better and so there I go with my blending. There I go with more blending. And then I'm done blending. So after that, I rub my hands together and I think, what next? And what I'm going to do next is my lips. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty, um, the lip, lip, what's it called? The lip paint. I'm going to be using the lip paint and I'm just going to be putting that over my lips. And that's color I did not check. Next, I'm going to be using, I already know because I remember, Shade Light. And this is probably my favorite 
Contour palette, I'm going to be using this nice brush that I got from my friend. I love their contour palette for Kat Von D. I think out of all the contour palettes I have tried, this is the most bang for your buck. This is actually the second one I have purchased. The first one has lasted me many years. So I'm going to continue to blend that. I like to do it in the contour of my cheeks. I like to do it on my jawline and I also like to do it for some reason in my hairline. I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and be use that lighter color and put it under my eyes and just throughout my forehead okay and just again continue to blend 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 put it on my chin for some good measure and just kind of put it everywhere okay after that I'm gonna smile at the camera again and I'm gonna be using LA girl and island hottie this is a blush palette I'm gonna be picking the color and I picked the brightest pink putting that on my cheeks this is a bare minerals brush blush brush it is super old i have had it for years but i mean it hasn't broke it hasn't got to damage or anything so great i'm gonna be using the la i mean the girl talk act girl act talk and this is gonna be their highlighter and i'm just gonna be putting it above my blush so i do my highlighter first then my blush and then my bronzer however i do it i guess in a separate order i'm gonna be throwing some on my nose for some good measure keep on blending 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 what am i gonna get next i wonder i'm gonna be getting some eyeliner this is gonna be mark jacobs in color something brown and i'm just gonna be doing it along the waterline of my under eyes my lower eyelid okay and i'm just gonna continue to do that okay next what am i gonna do i'm gonna be using foolproof brow, brow powder by benefit and i'm just gonna be going over my brows because i feel like they don't look as good as they could possibly look so i'm just gonna go over that one more time and just do it a little bit more on my top brow and again it's very important to blend 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 i do heavily recommend to blend okay let's see okay and i get again those hair like strokes and i'm just gonna keep doing those hair like strokes and continue doing it on this side as well okay okay a little bit more there I went a little bit above there. I noticed that too. So what I'm going to do is blend it out. Oh, too little, too late. Okay, never mind. I'm going to fix it. And I'm just going to use that darker color. And I'm just going to continue to blend and apply hair-like strokes on my eyebrows to get me that slightly better eyebrow look. And continue doing it on my other eye as well. Shrugs my shoulders. Okay, shrugs my shoulders again. Okay, I'm going to be using M Cosmetics, and I'm going to be using that as a gloss topper. It was not zooming in, and so I'm just going to be using that over my lip paint. Put that a little bit on my top lip as well to give it that pretty gloss sheen. Okay, put a little bit more. Try to get that better precision. So next, I'm going to be opening up this LA Girl palette again because I just want to add more eyeshadow because I feel like I could do more eyeshadow. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting this brownish color and I'm going to be doing that on my lid to give it more dimension and depth. And I'm going to windshield wiper that again. I'm going to windshield wiper that on my other eye as well keep on windshield wipering this i hope you guys are liking this voiceover by the way this is my first one and i don't know if it's kind of the norm to do a voiceover i really don't so if you guys have any feedback for me please please give it to me because i would really appreciate it and as you guys can tell i need oh i'm doing a happy dance what am i looking for what am i looking for i am looking for eyelash glue reason being is we have reached the end of my step the end of my makeup tutorial and i'm going to be putting on this eyelash glue i'm going to be putting a little bit on letting it dry for about let's see about 10 minutes doing another happy dance letting that eyelash glue dry a little bit faster while readjusting my hair to make myself look semi-attractive okay keep on smiling at the camera uh oh what did i drop 
I really can't remember actually what I dropped. Okay, I'm gonna be opening up that LA Girl palette again because it has a really big mirror. And I'm just gonna be hoping for the breast, the best, and hoping that my eyelashes stay on. And dun, 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 and voila, I think it is going to stay on. So now I'm just going to be securing it in its place. You may ask, what is Joanna the nurse getting ready for? I am getting ready for absolutely nothing. I just drank four cups of coffee today and so I would love to be productive. So that is why I filmed this video today. Uh oh, it looks like someone got in my eye. Oh, smiling at the camera again. And now I am going to be using my glue once more and i'm going to be doing the other eye gently putting it on that what's it called the um whatever the stick of it and closing up my glue so it doesn't spill and it doesn't dry out blowing on my eyelash one more time getting my mirror prepared and i am just going to be looking at myself a little bit more smiling again i'm out of breath guys and Perfect. Now I'm going to be putting it on again and again, hoping for the best, hoping that it does not. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Perfect. I actually think I got it on pretty well on my other eye. So the makeup people have been good to me today. <laughs> So I'm just going to be adjusting it. Who else leaves their mouth open while getting their makeup done or while doing their own makeup? I never realized how dumb I look until watching this video and doing this voice takeover. It is embarrassing actually. So now I am going to open my mouth once more, adjust my lash. I'm sorry guys, I should have fast forwarded through this. If I haven't lost you guys by now, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a 12 minute and 12 second long video and you guys have gone through it. So thank you guys, checking myself out, seeing how I look in this spring light lighting, smiling at myself once more, waving to the camera, waving to you guys. My eyelashes are going a little bit funky, fixing my hair and smiling once more. So thank you guys for watching and good night.